And it's my distinct pleasure not to ask Jenny to come to the podium and tell you a few words about her emotion, her vision, and what she's going to bring to this space program. Jenny, the floor is yours. Wow, thank you so much, Messi. Thank you. I feel today is exceptional, and it's exceptional because all of the people who are here who made this happen, and I'm very grateful. Um, our minister says talk about um, my feelings and how more about my mission, but my feelings for today. So I just want you to know first and foremost that I am thankful. I'm thankful for all of you. I will read what I have written because I don't want to leave anything out. Um, I also want to say I'm just immensely proud. I'm immensely proud of Josh. I'm immensely proud of what's ahead. And when Josh and I were recruited six years ago, we already understood the importance of the Space Station for Canada. And we believed in it. This brings Canadians, allowing us to make progress on difficult problems facing our country. We'll see some of this today from the challenge of bringing quality medical care to remote regions in our nation to food security for every Canadian. We believed in the essential components of Earth observation for tracking the markers of climate change and the effect of natural phenomenon on both our cities and on our wild spaces. We believed in the importance of the expansion of our understanding of space from the fundamental knowledge it brings of our place in the universe to the technological windfall that follows our missions beyond our own atmosphere. Most of all, we believed in the perspective that's granted to us by space travel and the inspiration that we feel when we see Canadians fly in space. We've both experienced that. We've all experienced that, seeing our early space leaders fly. Garneau, Bondar, McLean, and many more. We not only believe those things today, but we know them. We have seen them, we feel them, and we experience them every day in our roles. What is new for us now is the understanding of how we, we will be contributing to the space program on our specific missions. How we, as some of the many who are dedicated to Canada's activities beyond FIT. For moi, c'est une privilege. For me, it's a privilege to be a support astronaut for Jeremy, Jeremy Hansen for the lunar mission. Missions in space are immensely valuable, evidenced by Jeremy's role on this mission. The only international partner assigned to the most critically important mission NASA has planned in over 50 years human space flights return to the moon. I will be working with the Artemis II team to integrate and develop the architecture and the procedures for lunar missions. I will be a crew test subject for critical operations from launch to splashdown and recovery. I will train as capsule communicator, ready to support their mission as a bridge between Earth and our crew around the moon. I will be trained alongside the Artemis II prime crew, ensuring that I am ready to support them and the future of this program in whatever capacity is required. Avec cette experience, With this experience, I'm anxious to see what awaits Canada in the future. Regardless of what it is, I will be ready. I would like to take this opportunity to thank a few people for their support, those who are here with me today, and all the others. To the CSA. For your support, striving for greatness, pushing further and doing more. I am so thankful to be a part of this group. I think we need a round of applause for you. Thank you to our minister, the hype man. It's wonderful. <laughs> I always get so energized whenever I'm in Canada, but especially whenever I'm around you and your am amazing team um, for sharing our vision for Canada's future, for understanding that space is for all of us and critically important for a country as vast and as diverse as ours. We are very lucky. Thank you to my family, my biggest supporters. You bring me so much joy.
And finally, to all of Canada, I am so proud that space is at the heart of this nation. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Minister. Thank you for all being here this morning. Thank you, Jenny. But, um, thank you, Jenny, uh, for everything, not just the speech today, but for the two of us, it has been a wonderful, adventurous ride over the last six years. And uh, I, I couldn't even imagine sharing it with anyone but her. So um, she's part of this team. She's the reason we're here. We're trying to build the the best space program that we can for the future missions of this country. And uh, I can't imagine doing it with anyone else. Thank you. Okay, space for me, it's about many things. Curiosity, it's adventure, it's exploring, um, it's doing science, but it's also collaborating. For me, it's about collaborating for a better future, our future, it's about solving problems for Canadians and it's about opportunities for this country, opportunities to come in the future. Um, I'm proud to be a crew member on this mission, but especially to be participating as a Canadian astronaut. I'm proud that our country continues to play a leading role in space. It's very important for our country. On a more personal note, of course, I've dreamed of going into space all of my life. I'm very touched and grateful for having this opportunity today. Thank you. As Minister Champagne mentioned, parts of the International Space Station are celebrating their 25th anniversary this year. That space station is a marvel of human engineering and persistence. It's going to be my home for a very long time. I'll live and work there with a crew of awesome individuals from around the world. We'll conduct science, leading edge science. We'll demonstrate new technologies. We'll maintain the station's complex life support equipment and we'll look back, we'll look back on our home, that tiny little blue ball, planet Earth, from one of the highest vantages humanity's ever achieved. And we're anxious, we can't wait to share that with you all. The... I can't wait to tell young Canadians about my adventure when I'm in space. Here in Canada, Canadians have seen Marc Garneau go into space as the first Canadian astronaut to do so and many other Canadian astronauts since. We've been part of the International Space Station program since the beginning. It was always and remains today an inspiration for many Canadian children to think big and pursue their dreams, as was the case for me. I grew up a long ways from here, a cattle farm in Alberta, but I would tell you that I always remember being inspired by the space station I was inspired by the night sky, and I was intrigued by this notion of exploring the unknown, and that was for me a passion. It was a passion that guided me as a, as a child, as a university student. It was my guiding passion as a fighter pilot, as a test pilot in the military, and it still guides me today as an astronaut. And I want to tell you that I think I see that passion for Tuo Canada. We have teams of people, many of the, all of the people here today, who work on this tirelessly, work engineers, scientists, explorers really, working to build the Canadian space program. And it's thank you to them that we have opportunities like this. That grit and determination and vision that takes us from the Earth to the space station, back to the moon with Artemis, and someday to places like Mars comes from that passion. It's the desire to learn and to advance and to explore. And we have to be thankful to them. It's not about me, it's about everybody here it's about the team in Canada. To them, I would say, It's thanks to you, your dedication, your efforts, your passion, that we are able to take part in these missions. Go to these places, and for them, just I hope that you will never underestimate the importance, your the importance of your contribution for space exploration. We say that it takes a village, and so in closing, I do have to be very thankful to many. I, I feel thankful and, and lucky, as I've always said, 
Um, Thank you to all of those who have allowed me to get to this point in my career. Thank you to my colleagues at the Canadian Space Agency. Thank you to the Royal Canadian Air Force. And thank you to our leaders, our leaders who have never stopped thinking big to keep Canada at the forefront of the infinite frontier. I want to thank my family and friends. Their enduring, tireless support has made this possible for me on a personal level. Some of them are here today. Let me see. <clears throat> I, I'm honored. So, I'm honored to have this opportunity to represent Canada on this mission. To making the very most of this opportunity for Canada, and I'll do my very best to make you all proud. Thank you. I'll see you at peace. <laughs>